and while all that scheming is happening and these spirits are planning from the realm of the spirit all they hear is a sound like thunder shabakatoskiata pradoka paruska badika shadika paruske empregete bakatosa pragata makoske barusiata ah you are there in your room oh. you are there in your room listen Jesus was not invited to hell. He entered. Oh, it's in your Bible. Nobody gave him any invitation. The Bible says he showed up. He just said it is finished. And the next thing they see him there, having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a public show of them, triumphing over them in it. Listen, one of these days, you will find yourself in a meeting where you need to settle some things. You will start praying on earth till you find yourself in the realm of the spirit and you will see books with the names of your loved ones and you will tear them into pieces and say this is what has kept this family bound. This is what has destroyed this family. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Listen, the Bible says to deliver those who have been appointed unto death. A man of God once shared a testimony and I shared it here. I listened to him. He said somebody was supposed to take a flight. He missed the flight and the person was angry. He now joined a train and the train crashed. The flight too crashed. You see that these kinds of people have been appointed unto death. Whether it's bike, whether whatever the devil. There are people the devil does not want them to backslide. He wants them to die. That even in their backsliding states, they are too useful to God's program. He wants to get them out of the way. Ah, oh, minus you, Koinonia. I said minus you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I've seen the spirit of death. Oh, I'm not just talking stories. The basis of my confidence is not my visions. It's the authority of scripture. But you cannot deny what you see. I think most believers are really, really careless. They just sit down and fold their arms. You are watching the devil destroy people. You are seeing your children become something that is... And you are not fasting yet. You are not praying yet. You are busy trying to make money. And then the devil will use the same children and kill you. No way. Make up your mind that anything under, I'm going to be showing you the weapons to use before we pray. I won't leave you like this in limbo. I'm just showing you that God is mandating the church to rise to a heightened revelation about dominion over unclean spirits. These spirits that stand in the highway, I hope you know that a major part of accidents are caused by spirits. I have prayed for people who were driving. They were not careless. The steering locked. It, they would tell you they were not careless. They were not drunk. They were driving and the next thing, the steering locked. They tried to press the brake. It was not there. You will know that there are spirits. You must die. Hallelujah. With all due respect to medicine, how about doctors that have made costly mistakes on patients' bodies? Some of them were not born again and they were simply medical practitioners. Except that when a spirit arrived at theater, he also contributed in the surgery and manipulated their hands. Something that should be a basis for healing now scattered the patient's body. This is why we need people to be born again, regardless what you do. A business can, man can be on fire. It's one thing to know how to buy and sell. It's one thing to put a mall as big as this auditorium. Then one mysterious fire in the name of one wire sparking burns everything. And you, as intelligent as you are, you actually believe that that fire was a product of a spark. It's a joke. God gave us brains and intents that we use them. 
spirits are real their effect can be felt in the earth realm again let me pray for you in the name of jesus every spirit assigned to your destiny to your ministry to your family to bring shame and reproach in this end time we raise a standard by the blood 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 Please sit down. Hallelujah. I will only say it because it's something that has been discussed. I've shared it with the workers. When we started meetings here, about a month after then, the officials here were going around this facility and when they went outside, they saw something hanging in a leather and they thought, who is it that just threw this thing there? And the next thing, they picked it up and brought it and it was a charm. Well concocted charm. Only God knows what the charm was supposed to do. Destroy Koinonia, destroy Apostle Joshua Selma. Even a madman does not enter fire by mistake. As, as mad as a man is, if he comes near fire, he has the sanity enough to know that fire destroys I don't say these kinds of things with any apology let me tell you the individual and the spirit that tries this ministry dies on the spot as a testimony on the spot and you believe I'm joking try it so that your life will be a lesson for others I didn't say one week later on the spot listen I have seen spirits I've seen Jesus something happens to you there are things when you have seen you know how many charms this hand has held I'm not bragging I've shared with you my story people carry charms charms that are for families charms older than even my parents and I say, bring it to me. I know what to do. You go, you are free. Just leave me and the devil. Listen, I submit to you, and I'm sorry if I sound proud, but there are God gave gifts to men. Are we together? No matter how mad, listen. We have, we've been in just where there was crisis, crisis. If it's death, I would have died. In Zaria for years, for many of you who know Zaria, there's no kind of crisis that has happened there that we're not there. In a whole, you understand what I'm saying? There is a way God trains you, you do not fear again. Anybody that plants anything around your life, and if I be a man of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, beginning from this night, both them and the charm, the earth will bury them. Hallelujah. Be sensitive, oh. Be sensitive about what God is doing. I just sense that God is settling tonight is a miracle service. God has just decided that it's a miracle service. For as long, listen, for as long as you pamper the devil and you keep quiet, you will watch him destroy your children, destroy your reputation. Listen, there are people today by God's mandate on their life, they should not be this way, but they kept folding their arms. You know the kind of family you are coming from. It is true that victory has been wrought in Christ, but there is a responsibility component. Don't keep watching the ladies in the family go down. All your siblings have gone down. You are still watching. The gentlemen, they travel abroad and return back like failures and losers. 